What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's Raven Roundup. I'm Ashton Dane here to bring you the B on Raven Athletics. Bright and early Saturday morning, the Raven Cross Country team ran at Rimrock Farm in Lawrence for the Sunflower League race. On one of the runners' favorite courses, the boys finished 10th as a team, following Logan Reed's 36th place, Brian Kitter's 53rd, and Andrew Tracy's 56th. Leah Wellman's 17th place, my 25th place finish, and Lydia McLaughlin's 26th place secured the 7th overall team spot in Sunflower League. The squad is running again at Johnson County Community College this Saturday. On Friday, the Ravens football team boasted home field advantage at Seaback for a senior night matchup. After jumping out to a quick 14-3 lead over the Raiders, a 75-yard Hail Mary touchdown pass from Shawnee Mission South quarterback Jack Roberts shifted the momentum. Coming out of the half, the Ravens continued to struggle. Shawnee Mission South's rushing attack became unstoppable, and the Ravens' offense couldn't find the end zone despite some big plays. The final score of the match of the game was 38-21, Shawnee Mission South over Olathe Northwest. Boys will be at ODAC to battle Olathe North Eagles for their final regular season game. On, Thursdays, on Thursday, the Ra Lady Ravens were in a Jaguar territory for a duel with Blue Valley West. Unfortunately, the ladies took a tough five-set loss on, sa loss. on Saturday, the Lady Ravens hosted a tournament of their own. They went 3-1 and one in pool play, toppling over Olathe South, Shawnee Mission South, and Olathe North prior to their loss to Blue Valley Southwest. In bracket play, the ladies once again dominated Shawnee Mission South before falling for a second time to Blue Valley Southwest in three sets. The Lady Ravens' final regular season game will be tonight at Aquinas. Good luck today, ladies. The Ravens soccer team has played twice since our last update. On Thursday, October 17th, the boys were the visitors in a showdown with rivals Olathe North. The game was an absolute blowout with Chase Klusman putting four goals on the board along with Brock Baker and Mason Wittrin post posting one apiece behind a clean sheet by goalkeeper John Lindsay. On Saturday night, the Ravens battled St. Thomas Aquinas. Braden Beard and Zane Kalopek both found the back of the net, leading the charge for the Ravens. The boys walked away 2-0 from their busy weekend, but will be back on the pitch tonight at 7 to play Olathe South. That's all I've got for you today, Raven fans. Check back on the Raven Daily YouTube channel for every update on Raven Athletics. For Landon Daniel and the rest of the SID team, I'm Ashton Dane. See you later.